In my first video about the debate between William Lane Craig and Arif Ahmed, I resorted to a kind of shorthand to explain the problem with Craig's argument against the existence of actual infinities in order to avoid explaining the complexities of set theory. But my shorthand was a bit too short for some folks who didn't think I did the subject justice, so in this video I will show the specific part of Counter Apologist's video that explains this problem with Craig's argument in more thorough detail. Craig starts off his argument with an assertion that an actual infinity can't exist in the real world. His actual syllogism isn't really important, it all kind of comes down to this crucial premise and how he justifies it. And he likes to prove this by going through some thought experiments like Hilbert's Hotel, and through this he shows that if an actual infinity existed in the real world, it leads to absurdities. And this is largely because he's going to subtract different values from infinity, sometimes using infinite subsets of infinite numbers, and he's going to come up with the same or contradictory answers. Now, I kind of have to admit, Craig's rhetoric here can be kind of convincing, up until the point you realize that he's treating infinity as if it were like the number four, which is something you simply can't do. The problem for Craig is that all of the absurdities that he can pull out of different thought experiments are perfectly logically consistent with each other. It's just kind of counterintuitive because the math dealing with infinite sets is kind of complicated and it's got its own set of special rules. But the math that does deal with infinite sets is a very well-defined subject. It's called Cantorian set theory. This is very important because it actually serves as the foundation for most of modern mathematics. Now, Craig is smart enough to avoid trying to disprove something as well established as Cantorian set theory, and he actually will come out and admit that there's no logical contradiction involved in his examples. But then he makes this really odd move in saying that while Cantorian set theory is consistent, it kind of only works on paper, or is the concept in your mind, and that infinity still couldn't exist in the real world. There's this great paper by a guy named Josh Denver that I'm going to link to in the description box that shows just how outrageous it is to claim that there's a branch of well-defined mathematics that's valid but doesn't apply to reality. Um, but that's not exactly what we need to take away from this. It's just an interesting side point. What we need to take away from this is that there's no logical contradictions to any actual infinites existing in the real world. So what Craig thinks is a contradiction is not really a contradiction at all.